Albert's with us. How unusual is it to be as warm as we're about to be at this time of the year? Yeah, and a week from today is Valentine's Day, and your sweetheart's going to have about 50 degrees <laughs> about a week from today, so the temperatures only go up. Between now and then, we have a couple opportunities of rain, actually a solid opportunity for tomorrow night. So that's the big headline on what we're tracking. Wednesday night rain rolling in from the south. It's going to be widespread, and it's going to slow you down a bit Thursday morning. So we have a weather alert posted for Thursday morning, not because of severe weather, but because it's heavy downpours during rush hour could slow you down as you had to work in school on Thursday. The other big story for Thursday, same storm system comes in with a lot of wind on Thursday. We'll have anywhere from 40 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, Chicago down around Kankakee and across northwest Indiana. Wind gusts may be as high as 60 miles per hour. So we're enjoying a quiet night for tonight. Mostly clear temperatures are up to 22 Aurora and McHenry about 27 degrees tonight in the loop 25 in both Valpo and Rensselaer. And after a chilly start in the 20s, we climb back in the low 40s in the afternoon. More cloud cover, though. We'll call it mostly cloudy with a breeze out of the south. Now, the big weather maker tomorrow night into Thursday tonight is spinning right on top of New Mexico. Moves into the Plain States tomorrow and then tomorrow night into Thursday. It moves into the Midwest, grabs a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's why we're expecting some heavy downpours out of this thing. So let's take you hour by hour again tomorrow morning. A couple of clouds, temperatures in the 20s. And it's actually a really nice day tomorrow for February standards above average by 10 plus degrees in the low 40s in most spots and mostly cloudy but dry tomorrow afternoon. You have evening plans for tomorrow. Most of tomorrow evening is dry. I don't see rain really starting to build in until about this time tomorrow coming in from the south. So let's take you hour by hour as we head into Thursday morning. It's not just rain, but it's downpours and maybe some thunder and lightning. And even though at this point no severe weather is expected, ponding on the roadway again is going to cause some travel issues for your Thursday morning at 6 a.m. and temperatures well above freezing. But that area of low pressure pulls in some colder air. So as we head into mid morning into the early afternoon, afternoon on Thursday, a chance of maybe some wet snow up here towards the north and northwest suburbs and just some lingering flurries Thursday night into Friday. Wind, a lot of it is expected again up to 45 mile per hour wind gusts as early as Thursday sunrise in Chicago, but it's in Kankakee and across northwest Indiana where wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour will be possible. It's this location highlighted in this gold color under a high wind watch and those may get upgraded tomorrow sometime to high wind warnings. A lot of rain out of this system. This is the brand new model output as of the top of the hour, showing several locations closing in on an inch of rainfall and a few locations may exceed an inch. Right now, the models are suggesting some of the heaviest rainfall will be in northwest Indiana, approaching an inch and a half. So this will be the best shot of rainfall for the foreseeable future, building in in about 24 hours widespread for your Thursday morning commute. Maybe some wet snow up towards the north near the Wisconsin line for your Thursday afternoon. Just some flurries Thursday night and also some flurry chances as we head into Friday at 34 degrees the weekend not bad average high this time of the year about 32 will be 36 mostly sunny on Saturday. How about 40s on Sunday? We're staying in the 40s as we head into Monday and sweetheart. There's your Valentine's gift. I'm talking all three of you 50 Aww. degrees on okay. Tuesday. That's well above average by nearly 20 degrees this time of the year. Not everyone likes the warm weather though. We got to remember that some people want the cold and the snow. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> I'm much of that. Yeah. All right. Thanks Albert.